Is Gerald Swindle over or underrated? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team family, and thank you. Another, it's just crazy. It really is crazy. It's just so honoring, and I'm humbled, and I'm so appreciative, and I just really can't say thank you enough. So if you haven't done so, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team, part of the family, part of the memberships. Thank you. But if you're not, it's simple and easy and free. So click that subscribe button and welcome to the team. Now, I think this is Angler 4 or 5, and it's Gerald Swindle. Gerald is one of, if not, I'm just going to go on record and say I think he's the biggest personality out there. I think he's the biggest fan favorite, too. And we're not going to look at what he's done outside because he's a very humble, honest, genuine person. We're going to look at his statistics in fishing and ask, is he over or underrated? Currently, as I do this video, he is world ranked 138th. He's been fishing for over 25 years as a professional. He has two Angler of the Year titles. I want to make that clear. He has two Angler of the Year titles. Those were in 2004 and then again in 2016. I have to look at my notes. He has 62 top 10s and he's had two wins. They were in opens and he has over $2.5 million dollars in career earnings. He's been to 18 classics. He's also been to four red crests. He has fished in 326 tournaments. He's actually cashed, I need to get the bottom of this, 226 out of 326 for an average check of 76% of the time. 76% of the time he collects money every time he goes into a tournament. And like I said, 226 caches. He's had eight second places, nine third places, 58 top 10s, 102 top 20s, and 151 top 30s. He is arguably, probably hands down, one of the fan favorites, if not the biggest fan favorite out there. He's funny. He's good looking. He will outfish 99.5% of the people on this earth. And his sponsors include... Toyota, Mercury, Phoenix Boats, AFCO, Buckeye Lures, Costa, TH Marine, Zoom, 13 Fishing, Sunline, Rapala, Burris, Dude Wipes, Mossy Oak, Rod Glove, VMC, and Powerhouse Lithium. He has more pro he has more sponsorships than most anglers. And that's saying something for the quality of sponsorship and the personality behind all of it. You can outfish most guys. But if you don't, if you're not able to get out there, up there and talk and explain and promote and sell the product, sponsors don't come to you. And with that list of sponsors, it shows that Gerald's just on top of the game. Gerald was born in Jackson, Mississippi. Currently, his home resides in, I think, Gunnersville, Alabama. He is absolutely huge on social media. 420,000 followers on Facebook. 240 followers on 240,000 followers on Instagram and 72,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's mind blowing. And what most people know him as is someone who gets up on, up there on stage and is extremely funny. What you need to know is he's not really a scoper. He's caught over 10,000 pounds of bass on the Bassmaster series. He is very vocal and opinionated. And he is an extremely hard worker. If you watch anything that's on his social media, you'll see that he's constantly working uh, at his house, on his farm, on himself, on being a better person, on getting in physical better shape so that he can fish better. And he is one of the guys that everyone loves. Everyone wants to see. He's why people show up to Bassmaster events. And when you look at his whole career and his career earnings, you have to look back and just treat him as an angler. If it wasn't the fan favorites or it wasn't all the stuff that is so funny about him, and you look at his statistics as an elite angler, you have to ask yourself, is Gerald Swindle an overrated or underrated angler? And there'll be a lot of people that will argue he's never won an elite title, but he has two Angler of the Year titles. And there's a lot of people that are going to say, well, he hasn't won but he has won an Angler of the Year title. And if you really compare apples to oranges, 
Angler of the Year is what most anglers would prefer to win. And Jill doesn't have a real great record as a classic competitor. He got disqualified in 2007 for running too close or unsafe boating, I think it was. But his average finish at the classic, at the biggest stage, is he's finished 28th place over his career out of 53 to 55 anglers on average. But he did have a third place finish back in 2005 in Pittsburgh. But does that make him overrated or underrated? And that's the question I ask you. So comment below and tell me, is Gerald Swindle overrated or underrated as a professional angler only? Don't worry about all the stuff he says as a fan, but just as a professional angler. Because if we're looking at the, the whole body of work that comes with Gerald Swindle, there's only one there's only one thing to say. Gerald is fabulous on stage. He's absolutely a fan favorite. He is a marketing genius. He's one of the best anglers, one of the best anglers and fan favorites that has ever been in this hobby. And of course, I'm not saying sport. But that has nothing to do with it. It's on tournament performance. Is he underrated or overrated? You tell me in the comments below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Thank you. Cheers and tight lines.